Welcome to this Inkscape tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the Bezier tool, which is right here. Now this allows you basically to draw random patterns that you wish to make. So it's different than starting out with a pre-canned pattern like the uh, square or the circle. You can draw whatever you want with the Bezier tool. So we'll go ahead and select that and you left click the mouse and then take it wherever you want in your drawing. Left click again and again we'll left click again and you get the idea here. Now to set the pattern you can either double click or you can hit the enter key and there you can see we have the pattern set. Now if you go up to the edit path by nodes tool you can go ahead and begin to shape this and you can see how we're shaping this segment. You can go over here and drag this segment and then you notice you get these handlebars here and you can get more precision using these. Now to add another node you just double click between the nodes on the segment and you get another node you can use again. Now let's start another shape here and if you hold down the control key it'll move up in 15 degree angles if you want that type of precision. So you can see this is going by 15 degree angles all the way around. So that's useful in certain scenarios. Now you can also see the angle of the path down here and that's also helpful too if you want a very precise angle that you want to set. So you can see that right here, down here. Now you may want to connect up two separate shapes that you've made. So I'll show you how to do that now. So let's go over to the edit path by nodes tool and select this shape and then we're going to go back and hit the Bezier tool. Now hold down the shift key and go ahead and start to make your new shape and then hook it up to this node and there you can see we've got these two shapes hooked up now. Now let's go ahead and draw another path and let's say you draw a path that you don't want. You can just hit the backspace key and you can see it'll get rid of the paths all the way to the back if you want. So that's pretty useful if you again I mean I've done that several times you make a bad path and how do I get rid of it now? Just keep hitting the backspace and it'll get rid of them. So let's go ahead and clear everything and let's go back to the Bezier tool and let's draw another pattern here. Now one useful little tip here is instead of having to go over to the select tool and select this to move it, you can just hit the space bar and you see it automatically switches it to the select tool for you. And then we can go ahead and drag this where we want. And if you hit the space bar again, it takes you back to the Bezier tool so you don't even have to go over here and select it. So that's very useful if you're drawing several patterns very quickly. Okay, we'll clear everything again and we'll draw another shape. Once you've connected all the segments, you can go ahead and quickly fill it down here by just selecting a color. And you'll notice we got the fill bar available now. Now, you see how we can't really see the border down here, the stroke as they like to call it? If you go down here and right click this number, you can increase that to 32 and there you see how it's more visible now. Now, if you hold down the shift key, you can go ahead and switch the color on that and you'll see we switched it to green. Now you can also right click down here and remove the stroke and there you can see we've got no border. You can also do that for fill as well. Okay that's going to do it for this tutorial.